welcome to my channel. So I had a different video planned for today, but honestly, after all of my decluttering, reorganization, going through my drawers video, I feel really inspired to just play with makeup that's in my collection that I haven't used before. So we're gonna do a shop my stash and I'm gonna shop my makeup stash and pick out products that have just kind of been sitting in my collection and either hasn't been used before or has only been used like once or twice, which is sad to say that that's the case, but you know what? It happens sometimes. So there's just been a lot of products that I've kind of been staring at for a while that haven't gotten some love. Let's do that. Let's go through my makeup drawers and pick out some products that I want to use today. Righty ho, let's get into it. I eyebrows i'm pretty diligent about using my eyebrow collection but we're gonna play with some of these sigma brow products that got sent to me a while ago and i never use them uh, i guess i'll break open a pomade because i've been wanting to use pomades more so let's play with the sigma stuff that i have just gonna throw them in there any eye bases same thing goes with the sigma eye base primer i've had this forever Okay, so primers. Um, I'm pretty diligent about using my primers as well. Most of these have been used a lot. I haven't played a lot with these little Farsali face oils. I've used them a few times, of course, but there's four of them. They came in a pack during the holidays. Let's use the Volcanic Elixir from Varsali. I've never used this before. For foundation, I've already thought about this. I want to use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. It's a stick foundation that I bought last year, and I've used it once or twice, and I want to use it some more because I think it might be a good product for summer. Concealers, I already talked about needing to try this out, so I'm trying out the Catrice One Drop Coverage Concealer. I almost decluttered it and then realized I'd never used it before, so we're going to use that today. And then also, while I'm at it, I'm going to pull out the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer. Never use this also. Don't know if I'll use it in today's video, but I'll pull it out. Why not? I've also never used these ColourPop stick blushes and highlighters before. So we'll try these. I've been wanting to try these a lot. And then for highlighter, a powder highlight, I want to use this Touch of Glam Beauty highlighter. It's a pizza highlighter. Super cute. This hasn't been in my collection for too, too long, but I've only used it once. So I want to use this again. So I don't have a bronzer that I've rarely used in particular, but it's been a while since I've dug into my Smashbox contour palette. So I'll use this. This isn't available, so don't get mad at me, but I just kind of want to use it. So we're going to use this today. So for eyeshadows, guys, I think I might actually use <laughs> the Morphe palette that I've been talking about forever that I think is so pretty and I've never used. So this is the 39S. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been curious about this palette, so we'll use this. We're going to start there and then once I kind of come up with the look, we'll get into like the liner, the lashes, and lips, and all of that. Alrighty, so I am very excited to play with these products that I've been wanting to play with for a while. I think it's always nice to go back and feature products that aren't necessarily new new, just products that have been out for a while and you actually might already own these products, which makes that even better. That's why I love Shut My Stashes. It's really cold in my house today, so I put on this like turtleneck sweater, uh, but it's such a pretty spring color. I love it. This is from H&M, by the way. Let's zoom on in and fix this face. It's 1130 right now. I have spent all morning working and replying to emails and grading things for my students. So I'm ready to sit down and just play with makeup. And I get a little bit stressed and overwhelmed. That's when this kind of video is perfect to film. To calm me down, bring me back. So primer. I chose to use the Farsali Volcanic Elixir. So far from what I've experience is that I mean these are just beauty oils through and through um I think how they sell it is a little bit gimmicky like they don't need all that they have and they just market it as gimmicky everything is just a beauty oil this smells like food ew this has been sitting for a couple months and the oil was thick and chunky and it smells like like pizza Something, is this supposed to smell? 
I don't know if I should take this off or not. Is that what tell me if this is supposed to smell like it does? This is just weird and thick and sticky. Ew. No, I haven't used the volcanic elixir before. Not a fan. So even if this isn't supposed to be this way, like don't let this sit in your drawer. This smells weird. I'm just going to continue, but not happy about this. For foundation, I chose the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation. This was pretty popular last year. From what I recall, like I have used this once, but it's been a while and I just never really got the chance to really use it and collect an opinion on it. I have mine in the shade Wheat 4.5 and wow, that feels very cooling. What I can remember from this is that I liked it. I didn't think it was anything special other than it was just like a really nice quick throw on kind of stick foundation and that's still the impression that I'm getting from it honestly. It's pretty light coverage, very very emollient which I really like. As you can see this is blending out beautifully which I always look for in a nice stick foundation. And so right now just this really quick layer you can use for like zoom meetings, going out really quickly for errands. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit but this is everyday foundation vibes written all over it. The shade's a bit light for me, but that's okay. I went for a run a couple of days ago and it was like a 40 minute run and it was so sunny and I put on sunscreen and everything, but I swear that run alone made me get like two shades darker. I do think I prefer just one layer of this foundation though, just because I like how lightweight it felt with just one layer, but you can build up coverage if you want more coverage. But I think the beauty in this product is how lightweight and natural it feels on the skin. So eyebrows, I pulled out some products from Sigma that I've never used before. And we're gonna start off with a pomade, which might be a bit intense for what I'm going for today, but hey, let's do it. So this is the Sigma. Uh, define and pose brow pomade in medium. Okay, so I have used this before actually and it's kind of dried out. It's cracking. I've had this for a while. You guys are gonna use it anyways. Oh, do you see how glowy my skin is from that foundation? So this could um, use some oil or something mixed in with it. Setting spray just to revive it. Ooh, this color is a bit dark for me. I'm just not used to dark eyebrows like this anymore. So I'm gonna try and like blend this out make it a bit more more natural. Give me a minute. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's been a hot minute since I've done pomade and it did not help that this one was kind of dry. So this eyebrow is darker than this eyebrow because this color in particular is way darker than what I'm used to. You guys remember when pomades were the end all be all? I just can't. <laughs> Oh, this is not starting off very good. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this Prime and Control Brow Wax. I think actually, no, I think I was supposed, to, no, said Prime. I didn't Prime, that's okay. We'll just put it over. Never used a product like this before. This is supposed to set the brows. I think I probably should have used this before, but we don't plan ahead here apparently. We're gonna use this fully. Ooh, I need to trim these caterpillars. Quarantine ain't doing my eyebrows good. Ah, oh, this is okay. I don't know that it's necessarily glued down my brows, but I think it's given them some stick to where they're gonna stay where they're supposed to be. If you press harder, you can kind of see the wax, but once you brush it out, ooh, I kind of like this product. Brush it right over the eyebrows and your brows go where they're supposed to. Neat product. I like this. Guys, this oil, I don't know why it smells like this, but it's all I'm smelling. And I'm not sensitive to scent, but ooh. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Catrice One Drop Weightless Concealer. Mine's in the shade Nude Beige, by the way. It has a dropper. It says you just need one drop, so I'm just gonna do a drop. Well, one drop covers, but it is a very lightweight consistency. So it does look pretty natural. Okay, I am gonna build a little bit. I can't help myself. It has a, like I said, it has a dropper, but you don't really need to use it. Um, It's not blending out the easiest. Like I do have to go over again a couple of times so that it doesn't look as patchy. But what I do like about it is it's really, really thin. So it does kind of look skin-like. So I'm gonna put this on my nose as well to cover up a little bit of that redness. It takes a little bit of time to blend this out. But the finish on the eyes is very, very natural. We'll see how they kind of set down. Do I want to powder? I'm gonna use the KKW Bake Powder. I've used this numerous times. It's just been a while. I'm gonna set my under eyes with this. 
So this foundation, by the way, it's not setting down at all. Kind of feels really sticky, so I would go over it with just a touch of powder, just so that it doesn't feel so sticky and like it's gonna rub onto things. But before I do that, we have to play with our other cream base products that I picked out. We'll go in with like powder bronzer and everything later, but I wanna do all cream right now. I'm gonna start off with the ColourPop blush stick that these are old, but I wanted to try these for the longest time, so I randomly picked them up at also one day and then never ended up using them. So I got mine in the shade 25.8 for the blush. So I'm gonna take the butt end of my beauty blender, which I use beauty blenders for everything. I just think they're the best tool for the face. Ooh, how pretty. This is such a natural, nice flush. It doesn't have too glowy of a finish, but the shade in particular almost looks like my natural redness that I try and cover, which that's natural, but I also try and cover it. I'm gonna kind of blend this upward. It's like almost so natural where I'm trying to figure out if this is underneath my makeup and it's pulled it up or if this is just that natural of a color. It is acting a little bit weird on top of where the powder is. If you use a sponge, this is very, very sheer. Let's try a finger. I don't really use my finger to blend out cream products, but we'll give her a go. Blends out very, very easily, and it is a very, very sheer natural product. I'm gonna try the highlight version of the stick. I have mine in the shade Earth, and it's a pinky color, which will go good with the eyeshadow palette I picked out. So I'm gonna use the tip of my beauty blender. I never, ever, 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 ever will swipe a cream or a liquid highlight on my face directly because that's how you pull up foundation. So always use either your finger or a sponge to apply a cream highlight. This is really pretty and natural. I mean, I'm not getting too much from this product other than our super natural glow. I'm not a big cream highlight fan anyways, so I'm not super impressed with this, but it's okay. It did something. Let's set the rest of our face a little bit with just some translucent powder because my face is sticky, and I'm gonna go over with some powder products that I picked out. Really lightly, I'm using the Benefit Hello Happy Powder Foundation. This is colored. I'm just using a very light amount. Out. Just on these wet areas on my face. This shot, my stash is not turning out to be really successful, I must admit. Okay, and then I'm going to pull from the Smashbox Holidays Contour Palette. This came out last year, a couple years ago, 2018. And I just wanted to grab a contour from here. I just don't use this a lot, so I wanted to use it because I've used most of my bronzers many times because I have a smaller bronzer collection compared to like everything else I have in my collection. So I figured I would just pull for something that hasn't been used in a while. Just kind of a typical, nice, natural powder product. And then I did want to use a powder highlight as well. And for that, I chose from Touch of Glam Beauty, the Pie in the Sky highlighter, which is a cute pizza highlighter this is from an indie brand. You can purchase her stuff on Etsy. She is really, really sweet, and I love her eyeshadows. I've used this highlighter a couple of times, but I wanted to get more use out of it. And it doesn't really turn out how you would expect. It is a little bit more powdery, so you're going to have to tap off your brush. But look how glowy that is. It's almost like a rose gold kind of color once all the colors blend together. And it is a very, very blinding highlight. Um whoops that's crazy if you love a blinding highlight this is insane but i just made the mistake of not tapping off my brush enough it's not super tightly packed in the pan so you get a lot of product and it's also sticking to that cream highlighter as well but the color itself really really stunning definitely look into her shop there's a lot of cool glittery sparkly duochrome kind of stuff and then for eye primer i pulled out this sigma eyeshadow base primer i'm a mac paint pot kind of girl but we will mix it up today. This shade has a little bit of a more pinky undertone to it. I've used this once or twice, but I've got to be honest, I literally don't remember what I think of this. That's why we're using it today. And it's blending out very easily with the sponge. I prefer it with the sponge. My eyebrows are making me sad today. They're not good looking. It's always nice to post a failing video every once in a while, right? We're all human. All right, so 
I have the Morphe 39 S palette, which I bought a really long time ago and never used. And this is one of the few Morphe palettes that you guys have shown a lot of interest in. I did want to pull it out for you and actually try it. Plus, my brushes are already stained purple, so that's perfect. And it'll go with my shirt and my highlight. All right, so I hope this turns things around and changes my mood for this video. Um, okay. How purple do we want to go today? I don't know. We're gonna start off with this color right here. You guys know I have a billion and one purple looks on my channel, so that's another one, right? I think we'll go really purple today. Just really test the limits of this palette, right? We'll go for this color down here. There is some neutral shades to this palette as well. If you want more of like a brown look, that is an option. This eye primer, by the way, it dries down, so it's not a really sticky primer. It does have some tack to it. Eyeshadow will adhere to it. So that purple blended out relatively easy. You can build it up if you pack it on, but it does kind of blend out in slightly a way, which isn't a bad thing for this type of shade, because it would be bad if it just stuck to your eyelid and didn't blend. So I'd rather it blend out a little bit and then I can just go in and build it up later. My under eyes, by the way, are starting to look a little bit cakey. My base is not in its best condition, I must admit. And then I'm just gonna use the same brush. We're gonna go into this color right here. We're going for the true, true purples today, I guess. And we're gonna build this and I actually almost want to take this onto my lid and actually now experiencing this I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush to blend it out so it doesn't look like purple barfed all over my face so I'm gonna take a rougher number 14 brush it's stained right now but it's clean I promise purples are a harder color to work with so just keep that in mind but for the price that I paid for this palette this absolutely is not bad it's definitely workable now keep Keep in mind, you do have to work with it a little bit. Like, blending's taking a little bit longer. I'm having to build a little bit. It's not bad. And I'm gonna, this shade right here, and I'm gonna put this along my lower lash line. I know luxury eyeshadow palettes are my thing on this channel and high-end palettes, but honestly, I do have a thing for Morphe palettes. Like, I pick them up. I just don't talk about them too much on my channel. We're gonna go back in with the really dark purple. Now I'm gonna really smoke this out underneath my entire lower lash line. Okay, and then using the same brush, we're gonna make it really smoky. I figure, why not? I'm already not kind of loving my makeup, so it doesn't have to be very presentable. So I'm gonna take this black with a little bit of glitter. I'm gonna just pop it right here in the outer corners, and we're gonna create a little bit of smoke. And then also blend that in the outer corners. This palette is cooperating though, I have to admit. Okay, and then I would like to put this shimmery purple shade all over the lid. It's a darker purple shade, but I wanna put a lid topper on top. Ooh, this is not showing up. Let me get closer. So, okay, that's better but it definitely is not a very opaque shade. So it is taking some like pushing hard on a pan and really kind of working it out. I don't know if every shade's gonna be like that one, but this shade was not that good. My under eyes look so dry, you guys. And then I'm gonna take this shade right here. These are all like lid toppers and these are what I'm really excited about for this palette. We're gonna put this right on top. Yes, 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 yes. This shade alone just notched this palette up. Wow. This is a beautiful lid topper, you guys. Holy cow. Okay, cool, cool. Then I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm gonna put this right in the inner corner for a little bit of glitz and glam and brightening. Yay, I love this. All of a sudden, this like glitter just turned my whole mood back into really good. That's all it takes apparently. And then let's try a little bit of this pink lid topper and I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. It's not gonna adhere as good because I'm not using a finger, but I'm just gonna press it for a little bit of glitter on the inner corner. That adds something. I love it. I'm gonna put a little bit of that pink right in the center. I don't think these lid toppers are gonna look too, too different from each other. So that's the thing. They maybe aren't as unique from each other. I love it. Oh my goodness. So here's the purple look, which I 
love. I think this middle row alone kind of made this whole palette worth it. I think there are some inconsistencies in this palette, but overall, it's a really nice, affordable purple palette. Purple is a harder formula to formulate. So if these colors have been catching your eye, this palette definitely works and you can create some gorgeous looks with it. You're not getting Anastasia Beverly Hills quality shadows in here, but you can definitely make them work. Just prepare to be a little bit more patient and to spend a little bit more time building and blending, but if you're okay with a great affordable purple palette. Okay, so I didn't pick out any eyeliner, lashes, or anything like that, so let's uh, let's do that. I really want black eyeliner. I'm gonna use this Dolly Wink that I haven't used in a while, and then mascara. Uh, I don't wanna open up a new one, so I'm just gonna use my Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I'm gonna use this bright purple eyeliner from ColourPop in my waterline. Eyelashes. I want to use something I haven't used before. These are Delara from Lily. We'll use these. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this ColourPop Gel Eyeliner in Piggy Bank. I actually use this all the time, so this isn't something new. I just really like colored liner in my waterline. Especially with these colored looks, they add a really fun element. And then I'm gonna line my eyes with this Dolly Wink. This I almost decluttered in my declutter. I said I wanted to use it one more time to really decide, so that's what we're gonna do today. Yeah, it's not that good of a liner. It's just not black enough. So the problem with this liner is that it doesn't work very well over shadow, especially since I have a lot of texture and dimension and glitter on my eyelid. So it's not that good. Um, I think this needs to be worn on no eyeshadow kind of day. So I'm quickly going to go off camera and throw on the liner and lashes and then we'll be back to explore lips. So I have a lot of lip products that kind of sit in my collection. I do think I want to play with some of these Grande Cosmetics. This is the Grande Lip Liquid Lipstick, and this looks like a pink color. We'll try that, why not? And then also this Laneige. Okay, we'll play with these. We'll see what these do, but these have kind of been sitting. I've never used this, and I've used the Laneige once. Obviously, lashes made the look as always. These aren't my favorite lashes from Lily, but definitely will get my use out of them. So we're, let's try the Grande Lips Liquid Lipstick. Stick. I've had these for a long time. This is gonna be an obnoxious color, but honestly, my makeup ain't it today anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, this is like a metallic color. Do I really want to do this myself today? Ew, this color's ugly. <laughs> Some days, videos work out great. Other days... The hotness. So this is also really tingly because it's their lip plumping serum in here as well. This is in the shade Peach Bellini, by the way, and I like some of the colors in this line a lot. This is my first time playing with Peach Bellini, and I look like a crazy person. So even though I don't like my makeup look today, I'm not doing this to myself. I'm not. Ah, <sighs> nothing's working today, you guys. This just goes to show you we all struggle. We all have bad makeup days. The only thing I like is my eye shadow. And see, this color is a little bit too pink. This is from Laneige, and this is their two-tone lipstick. These are like Asian-inspired, so the lighter color. Hold on, I'll show you. I'll show you. So you want the darker color on the inside of the lip to kind of give you that blurred lip. This is a really cool lip product. How cool is that? I love this. I need to use this more. These two-tone lipsticks are so cool. I mean, it kind of just doesn't look that good <laughs> with my look. This is definitely for a different type of look. Do I dare take this off and try again? I don't know what to do, you guys. All of a sudden, I'm just not feeling inspired anymore. All right, I'm I'm gonna tap out and call it quits. Let's go over the products that I tried today. <laughs> Let me back up. Guys, I can't with my lips. Hold on, I need to do something about this. I'm gonna throw on my Patrick Ta She's Secure. Oh, this is a horrible tone for this look. All right, you guys, I have failed you in this video. I am so sorry, but this just goes to show you that when you play with products that you don't have any experience with, sometimes it just doesn't work the way that you envisioned. But I did learn a lot about a lot of products in my collection, so that was good. So quickly, let's go over what I'm liking, what I am not liking. We're gonna start off with the negatives so that we can end on a positive here. This foundation stick from Bare Minerals, I don't like it with heavy 
heavy makeup and a lot of makeup. This is the kind of foundation that really is only going to work when you're going out really quickly, running some errands, looking for something to blend out, throw on really quickly, and leave the house. It's not going to be long wearing. It makes you look really, really oily, and it doesn't set down, so that's a little bit annoying. It's an okay product though, and I do see myself wearing this, but you have to wear this for only a certain occasions. The Catrice One Drop coverage concealer. I do want to play with this some more because I am picky about my concealers and it takes me a lot to get to know about them. But my under eyes look very textured right now. They look very creasy. It might have to do with the powder that I set over it. So for that reason, I'm not gonna throw this away quite yet. I did like how thin this was, but I definitely want to try setting it in other ways because my under eyes do not look good right now. I did not like the ColourPop highlighter. It is horrible if you have any sort of powder on your face. It really caught on to the powder that I set with my under eyes and there are cream highlighters that don't catch on to that so it just looks really textured and thick it's sitting on top and not good I don't like this unless maybe you're doing literally an all cream look is when that will come into handy but not a fan of that oh my gosh I can't believe I forgot the Farsali volcanic elixir this smells horrible the oil itself worked fine it just smelled really really bad the uh, dolly wink eyeliner doesn't go well over textured shadow Wow. And I'm not a brow pomade fan anymore at this point. I'm not going to say the Sigma 1 is bad. I just think it dried out from sitting in my eyebrow drawer for a long time. So it's not bad. That's my fault. But I just don't like pomades anymore. I'm not about that life. I do want to end on a positive note because not everything I tried was very bad. I think a mix of these products don't really work well together, but individually I think these products are nice. So far I'm liking the eyeshadow base primer. Of course only time can tell, but I like that it's not too sticky. I like that it blended out. I liked that it covered my eyelids. I thought the Sigma Priming Control Brow Wax was also really neat. I can see myself really liking it for every day when I put on some powder and just using this to kind of stick my eyebrows up, give yourself that feathered eyebrow look. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed the ColourPop Blush Stick actually. Way better than the highlight. I really like this color. It is very natural and very sheer and it does blend out but I think for really natural makeup days this is perfect. So for a quick outing I would say throw on some Bare Minerals foundation really quick. Put on a little bit of your ColourPop stick. Brush your eyebrows. Put a mascara. You're good to go. I liked the Touch of Glam Pie in the Sky highlighter. It's a really gorgeous rose gold color. I wish I didn't use it on top of that cream highlighter because that ruined this highlighter. Also just be careful because you can go very very blinding very fast with this but it's a gorgeous color and then finally I did actually really like the Morphe palette I'm very happy that I have it and I tried it out obviously I went for like a purple throw up all over my eye kind of look but I can see myself doing a lot of different looks with this palette not every shade in here is amazing you know as you saw there were some shades that I was struggling to work with that lid color was not showing up on my lid but I think overall it's a solid palette especially for the price those those lid toppers are really awesome and you can definitely get gorgeous purple looks with this palette so if you're looking for a great affordable purple palette that's going to give you a lot of options and you just don't want to spend a lot of money this is a really nice palette and I like how large it is and the lashes are okay they're not my favorite <laughs> anyways so sorry this video turned out this way but you know what you got to see the fails to learn things as well so I learned a lot from this video I hope you guys did as well and I you know as much as I want to post successful content for you guys every single day and a pretty look for you every single day just to feed the aesthetic. If I'm posting every day, I want to keep it real with you guys and that's what happened today. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me through the frustration, through the glitteriness goodness. I hope you enjoyed it all. If you are subscribed to my channel and you want to take the time to do so, that would be great. Most of my videos and my looks turn out better than this one, I promise. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you all are continuing to stay safe and healthy and sane as as our world figures out what to do. Bye guys, have a good one. I do like this eye look though. It's really cute.